name is Kimball Crofts. I'm a plastic surgeon here in Linden, Utah. I came back to Utah because I just I love the area and the people that are here. I originally went into medical school thinking about being an orthopedic surgeon, but as I did my rotations, I went through plastic surgery and fell in love with it because of the complexity of what we did and the variety of what plastic surgeons do. On one hand, you can be doing cleft lip and palate repair. On the other hand, you can be doing breast augmentation. Uh, you can turn around the same day and be doing a hand surgery, a cancer repair, a free flap. So there's a lot of different things we can do. So I just actually fell in love with plastics and that kind of steered me that way in that rotation. One of the great things about Aesthetica is that we offer a broad variety of very quality, successful treatments. Um, we go all the way from all the services of plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery that are available, um, breast augmentation, body contouring, facelifts, uh, laser treatments and so forth, all the way through all the medical spa things that are available. And in our medical spa, uh, it's a true medical spa, we provide injectables, uh, whether that's Botox, um, uh, fillers, we have all lasers, we have about 12 or 15 lasers that we use to make all, to do all the treatments that we have. Uh, we do laser tattoo removal, uh, we do facial skin resurfacing, rejuvenation, laser hair removal, um, peels, I mean, we do everything, you name it, we do it. The concept of Aesthetica is we wanted to have something that represented what plastic surgery is about, you know, and Aesthetica's word root is in beauty, and so that's what it is. So Aesthetica.com or Aesthetica has to do with beauty. So we uh, came up with Aesthetica and have promoted that all the way along to promote that whole concept of helping somebody get back to where they feel as best they can about themselves, whether that's through reconstruction or cosmetic surgery. The Aesthetica team is comprised of a number of very quality individuals and, and it's interesting I get that comment from a lot of patients that they love working with these my staff. They, they trust them, they like working with them, they know they'll get taken care of. They really love what they're doing and they love helping these patients have a good experience when they're here and getting them quality work also. And I am very fortunate to have them. My philosophy of practice is, is that uh, I want to provide somebody with the best result possible and to do it as safely as possible. Anyway, I think integrity is one of the most important qualities that a, that a medical provider should have because it lays the foundation for everything else you do. You know, when I approach a patient, um, they're just not a number. Somebody who comes through and wants something done and goes on their way. I really want to know who they are. I, I, I want to be part of their life in a good way. And more than just some guy who gives them a surgery and on and go, I, I really want to understand who they are. I want to be um, someone who's significant in their life and that they can trust. And, and so I just, I just really try to be myself and I try to be very real with them and very open and honest. And it, uh, and you know, same token, I want to have that relationship back with them. You know, it's fascinating, all the different people that, the, the, the lives I get to touch and, and be involved in. And, and that's a, you know, that's a, a really special privilege to be able to know people on, on that level and to when they're going through something that's as, you know, as sacred as surgery really is because, you know, you're taking somebody they're trusting you to not only put them asleep, but to work on them surgically, put them back together and get them back to a position where they're, they're happier and doing things they want to do. And there's a lot of trust that has to go on there. So that's why I say, you know, integrity is really important. You know, when someone comes in and expresses those, those feelings of gratitude to me, um, I just, you know, I, I, I take it really humbly because um, it's a real privilege for me to be able to be to help somebody like that and, and it makes me happy when you know when people can get to a point where they're happy with what they've done and chosen to do that it got them where they want to be you know I think of a child getting a cleft lip repair um, it's huge for that kid they may not realize at the time well you know it makes you think of a time when when we were in Africa doing humanitarian work and we had a, a 37 year old man come through uh, who had a cleft lip, he had a big gaping hole in his face and had never been repaired and he was as you know um, shy and withdrawn and reserved as a person could be but he had the hope that we could perhaps help him and we did, we did a cleft lip repair on him, restored it, gave him a very normal looking lip and I'll never forget what he said when we went back five days later to take his sutures out and he was so appreciative, he said thank you so much 
He looks in the mirror, he looks at us and he said, now I will go make a family. So for the first time in his life, he had a hope that he could maybe get a companion and go out and have and do the normal things. So it has a huge impact. And, and whether it's a cleft lip, you know, cancer or trauma, or things that happen with just living, aging, all those things impact how we feel about ourselves. And so, you know, it, it impacts people in a very big way and, and helps them, you know, just feel better, more confident. You know, you've changed people's lives. And how do you, how do you value that? You, know, you just don't. So with the opportunity and the privilege to be able to do something like that, to make a difference in people's lives, is, it's just everything about it. In a large sense, that's what we do in plastic surgery. <laughs> you know, cosmetic surgery, it changed people's lives for the better.